Well, stocks bolted out of the gate this morning with buying across the board, technology leading the way. Then, well, then that Supreme Court uh, decision came out where they decided not only to take uh, the Trump administration's travel ban, but it was a 9 0 agreement. And uh, listen, of course, that means that there was a clear winner for national security, and that winner was President Trump. It also meant that there was a clear loser or several losers. And uh, for those who have adamantly opposed the ban, including Silicon Valley, you remember all those big names uh, in tech sign at Amicus Brief uh, on, tra on the travel ban. Uh, a lot in March, a lot more in April, over 160 companies. Well, those stocks, after gapping higher, finished lower. In fact, it was the worst performing sector in the market today. After the bell, Western Digital posted earnings that raised their earnings as well. But you can see right now, the stock is down. I, if you're in it, hold on to it. I'm not sure what this is all about. It was a great earnings report. In fact, I suspect the whole tantrum that we saw in tech names will be a one-off event. But I will say, investors are going to become more wary as these sudden downward reversals in tech uh, seemingly come out of left field because this happened almost a week and a half ago. It's really, in my mind, though, what consolidation is all about. Remember, these stocks have made huge moves. I don't care if you measure them based on 2017, the last 52 weeks, even the last years. The, they are up big time. Meanwhile, though, I continue to love the action in material and industrial names. You keep hearing me mention Martin Marietta Materials, Vulcan Materials, both up big today. United Rentals, Snap-on Tools, both also having solid sessions. Overall, guys, stay cool, stay balanced. Also, keep your head on a swivel for fresh opportunities. I still think you should be looking to buy any dip. Now, tomorrow, the market deals with a parade of Fed speakers, including Janet Yellen, who speaks in the middle of the session. The street will be eager to find out if monetary policy is going to be based on the economy or the skewed views from their ivory towers. Now, the notion that they keep putting out there that this recent weakness is only transitory does not jive with reality right now. So we'll see. For sure, the Fed cannot talk about deflationary data in one side of the mouth and rate hikes out the other side. For right now, the lazy, hazy days of summer, they've set in. I will say this, guys. Do not let a dull market or this consolidation I'm talking about lull you into investing mistakes. And that's taking unnecessary losses or not being involved.